Please press one after the tone. Hey, yeah, man, you know, we're on the spot at the spot, man. The telephone call may be monitored or recorded. The use of special calling features is not permitted during this call. To consent to the monitoring or recording of this call, please press 1 after the tone. Thank you for using GTL. Man, what's going on, man? We on the spot at the spot, man. You know, we got a special call, man. You know, man, go ahead, brother. State your name, man. Sure. Oh, man, you know what I'm saying, man? We got my brother, man, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, in a shitty-ass position, man. And, uh, you know, for this episode, man, he's just going to kind of give you a rundown of what he can say, what he can't say. And uh, just, man, you know, just kind of give a, a, a kind of a, a catch-up, man. What's going on, my brother? How you doing? I'm, you know, due to the circumstances, I'm just holding my head up high, you know, standing tall through it all. You know, I've been in the L.A. County jail for, you know, a little under four months. Fighting uh, a conspiracy to murder charge, unfortunately. Man, very much unfortunate. Very much unfortunate, man. Um, if without going too much into, um, can you, is there anything you can kind of share just of that? That. Um. So on July seventeenth, around five o'clock, I was leaving my house. I got in my car, getting ready to go coach football. My top one organization, South Bay 49ers, and uh, I start the car up. And I looked up, it was. About, this call is being recorded. About 30 police, LA County Sheriffs, uh, U.S. Marshals, uh, Fugitive Task Force, you know, just. And they, uh, they placed me under arrest. Had an arrest warrant for me that was issued the day before. I had a search warrant from my house, cars, anything in my name. Uh, the next day they went to search the uh, football storage where I keep the key equipment. Just some, you know, just some crazy stuff. And, you know, they came and arrested me on hearsay. You know, I'm allegedly in here for an incident that happened four years ago. Hmm. I mean... They had a press conference. I wasn't named in the press conference. My picture wasn't shown, but like I said, allegedly somebody said my name and they just went off here say. Hmm, hmm. So just um just to give a kind of brief, um you know um can you be, tell us a little bit of what you was doing in the community? Because before, back to the youth. But, but before you speak on that, you know I'm I'm you know I went about and say that this brother has been an inspiration for me. He's been an inspiration for a lot of um, celebrities as well as individuals in the music, TV, comedy, and always constantly giving back and always looking out for his people. So, man, go ahead, man. I'm sorry, man. I just had to go ahead and say that, though, yeah. brother. Omar Ray, a.k.a. Coach Omar, giving back to the community for the last 20 years in the Snoop Youth Football League, different leagues, baseball, basketball, um, giving clothes and food to the shelters in downtown LA, helping less fortunate mothers, kids with school clothes. You know, it's, it's nothing to brag about. That's just God's work, me giving back. You know, because I've been a less fortunate kid. You know, I, I didn't been one out, so I understand the struggle. And once I got a position to be able to give back, it wasn't second guessing. Hmm. And I want to come in, you know, St. Nick, on helping out as well too for the last eight, nine years. No question, I call, he sends it right away. Man. Well, nah, man, we just leave, like you said, man. Like just doing God's work, man. And, uh, would you feel what you're going through right now is a testament of just trying to break you down? Most definitely. And I feel like this is, this. my circle is already big as a Cheerio. Now it has to be big as a dot. This is a chapter in my life that, you know, I got to get through. And it's, 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 it's a real challenge, but I'm going to prevail, you know, and, and 
everything is in the man upstairs. Prayer takes you a long way. Manifesting positivity, keeping a positive mind in a negative environment. You know, in here, it's, it's these, these youngsters in here looking to fight at 6.30 in the morning. Man. They just want to know where you from and what is stuff called spice at that they smoke here and now. Yeah. You know, I haven't been here in here in over a decade and a lot has changed. Yeah. I'm an old man in here now, so they just I just get out the way. Mind my business. This call is being recorded. I got a I got a hard calling. That's why I, I read a lot of Damon John books and entrepreneur books and the Bible and stuff and just, you know, like I said, try to stay positive in a a negative situation and it's it's very hard when you're facing a life sentence. And, they, and, and with no bill. Man. Like I'm just a monster. Man. And um, what is it, what has it been like on your family, man? You know, like what 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 has been the what has been the stress? Man, I got two eighty-year-old aunts that you know. One said to me, "I'm hoping I'm here when you come home." And the other one just told me yesterday. She's like, "I've been depressed since you've been in there." That just that just make me feel bad, man. That's real pivotal. You know, those two women were real pivotal in my life. You know, it's my my daughter's senior year and. She had senior senior night last night for her fall sports, and that just tugged at me because I, I I take pride on being there for my kids. Cause I'm always there for other people's kids, and me not being there for mine really just you know eat me up, man. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, I can only imagine, brother. I can only imagine, man. You know, um, just in regards to it not going to in it, has it been some harassment? Um, has it been, I mean, uh, easy to basically get in this courtroom or has it been just a little bit of just bull crap, man? Just, you know, not to go too far into it, just your, your opinion. Well, with the, with the defund the police thing, they playing games with the trap station, the court. You, you might go, you might not go. Um, my last court date was uh, October 23rd and I wasn't able to go, but my, my attorney, he just went ahead. He went ahead with the proceedings, and you know, court moved on. But yeah, it's, it's, it's been a rough road, man. You know, they they took my phones when they arrested me, my two phones, and I ordered. I had, I had them order me two new, two more phones, and they went with a search warrant to my nephew's house. They took my phones. Hmm. They just was telling my family, "Don't do." This call is being recorded. Tell them, "Don't do nothing for me. Don't help me." all this and that and you know and I have some some friends that I had in my football organization that I thought was friends and when this this happened they just you know oh he ain't never coming home this is that and the other you know all that kind of stuff yeah yeah but God has a final say so in all decisions yeah man you know not 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 calling out names and we ain't gonna call out names but as you know, you said your circle being a, a Cheerio, and then going down to a Pebble, man, I mean, has at least been some of the people that you've helped and did a lot with, has it been some help or what? Come to LA and be like, man, what you doing? In the house? Come outside. Yeah. For what? 
Yeah, real talk, cause you know me. I'm, <laughs> you know I'm, I'm moving, and I mean I never, I gotta, yeah, yeah never. <laughs> hey, but uh, I mean real man, real talk. You know, one thing I can say, man. You know, you at home, you cooking, you at football practice, or you with your seeds. Like I, I damn near gotta drag you and tell you days before, and and and, and almost make you to have to come out. And there's nothing wrong with that, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's, um, you know, if you can send a shout out to some of the people, man, you know, man, what you want to say? Because, uh, you know, I'm going to drop this immediately. Like, I did some stuff. you know, everybody that came to visit, send pictures, wrote letters. I love y'all, man. That's all I love, man. It's a minor setback for a major comeback. You know, whoever counted on my ray out can't never count. Dig they that. can't count me out, so I'm six feet in the dirt. Dig that, man. Dig that, man. Is there? And everybody that, everybody that's hating all that, got sneak stuff to say. They can suck a dog's dick. <laughs> Funky dog head, bitch. <laughs> man, anything, man, any, anything for man, you know, for your fans and the people out there that do, you know, got love for you. This man. call is being recorded. Is there anything uh, that the they the Coach Omar documentary will resume. It will come out when I get out. Um, I wrote some movies in here, sitting in the county. Mama tried, Dr. Dope Man. They're going to be some classics, man. You know, it's just, like I said, a minor setback for a major comeback. Man, well, hopefully, man, you know, you, man, you, you. You come through the Spot Soto Studios, man. You know what I mean? Or maybe cast me for something, man, around this motherfucker. I, I cannot. Well, you know, I, I stay with a role for you. You got to You already know. Man. You know, you live up to your name. Thank me. But yeah, man, if, you know, if anybody want to holler at me, I'm in the L.A. County Jail. You know, Omar Ray. My booking number is 684 8658 You know, and I take mail. You know, that's, that's, that's sentiment and value. I'm gonna take my time and write each person back because they took their time to reach out to me. Man, real talk, man. You getting some static. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm just, man, we was getting some static for a minute, so I had to make sure, you feel me? That it wasn't too much static and everything like that, man. I mean, what's been keeping your spirits, man? You know what I mean? Okay, man, well, you know, we're going to resume, you know, when we can resume, man. So, you know, you already know we at the spot Soto, man. I'm waiting for that call back, man. You know, man, you know, my folks going, man, my folks man, going through it, man. And, you know, man, you holding it up, man. And, you know, over here at the spot, you know, we not just a podcast, man, but we for the people and we do a lot for the people, man. And, you know, no matter what you're going through or oh, you know, the worst thing you can do is just turn your back, turn your back on somebody, man, you know, especially. And, uh, you know, my brother, man, you know, Omar, man, you know what I'm saying, a.k.a. Pimp and Silky, good brother, man, really takes care of the community. Um, You know, go. It, it's the things that he's going through, and this isn't him speaking, man, you know, the things that he's going through, man, it's, 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 it's unfashionable, man. It's unbearable. Like, all of us brothers, man, we all come from the streets. You know, we all come from humble beginnings. And uh, when you see us out and about and out and around, you know, we're, we're doing more than what people think, especially for the community, man, and those that don't have. And, like, you know, that brother's been doing, man, you know, he's been on his, on his thing, man. You know, this is him calling back, so we're going to go ahead and get that. You feel me? Hello, this is a free call from... An inmate in the men's central jail. To accept this free call, press zero. To re this telephone call may be monitored or recorded. The use of special calling features is not permitted during this call. To consent to the monitoring or recording of this call, 
Please press 1 after the tone. Thank you for using GTL. Hello? Yeah, 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 man. I told him you'd be right back. I said, I told him you'd be right back, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, I'm back on track, you know. Off top, off top, off top. Hey, yeah, so when he, man, when, you know, I was just, you know, elaborating a little bit, man, you know, just telling them, man, you know, the things that you did, the people, you know, you looked out for the community and everything. And, I, you know, I told them, man, we come from very humble beginnings. And, you know, the worst thing is, you know, when, when as brothers, you know, and as you start to surpass, as you start to get to a certain success level, you know, a lot of times, you know, you they they stuff like this happens to deteriorate you, man, to, to turn you around, man. What's you know, besides man, your faith, man, what's up, what's keeping you afloat though? And you know, besides the laughs and everything like that, man, you know, what, 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 how's your day going every day? I, I, you know, every day is a struggle. You know, I deal with so much adversity growing up, so I have no choice but to be strong because I'm I'm the I'm the strength to a lot of people, and if they see me weak or break, you know, they go they go. This call is being recorded. And it's plenty of nights, man. I have a good phone call laughing for hours and get off the phone and just break down. Just human behavior, you know. I, I have my days, and when they took my bill, I, it, it just felt un- inhumane to me. Like, why? I mean, why are they doing me like this? Like, you know, it was just crazy. That's why. If anybody want to do something for me, they could they could pray for me and most definitely get in contact with the head district attorney at Los Angeles County, George Gascon, and hopefully we could get a, 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 a rally going where we get him to look into the case or at least grant me a, a bail. Hmm. George Gaston, man, for my listeners, man, you know what I'm saying? That's the district attorney, you know, coming in, man, you know, for Los Angeles, man, you know what I'm saying? What we'll do is we'll um, provide you, you know, at the end of this episode, we'll provide you with his um, website and his phone number so you can reach out, man. This is a way to help, man. Go ahead, bro, bro. Send letters, whatever we got to do. It's the same man who, who got the, ben- the Menendez brothers a resentencing hearing. Yeah, I mean, I heard uh, Suge trying to make it into his, his court, man, the judge courtroom right now, too. He, uh, actually, he probably be coming home because, you know, that, that, that Senate bill passed when they was giving all the people the extra time and and all that, but fuck Suge Knight. <laughs> he on the SNY yard. Oh, sensitivity? He, he in protection? Yeah, custody? he on the PC yard. <laughs> We know it should got him. Uh, man. So you J, you man, you J man, you J man, General Pop, huh? Yeah, you know they had me high power. KT status put me on the Hollywood Road when I came in. I started to wake to get D class and walk the main line. I don't want to be slammed like that, isolated, can't talk to nobody. That's a whole nother stress, stress thing. Yeah, real talk, real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? Um. Who's some of the uh, people, man, that you know, some of the names that you might have ran into or just ran across from court or anything like that? If, 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 uh, if you know, more more, more celebrities, because, you know, we, we don't want to talk about little Ray Ray, man. Y'all are talking about for <laughs> when, I, when I first came in, uh, Blueface was, he was here. He going to the pen now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a, a few other people, you know, uh, this call is being recorded. Oh, Jeezy was, you know, they came and went, you know, they be in and out. Yeah. Yeah, man, real spill, real spill, man, you know. Tory Lanez had left before I got here. Okay, okay. But well, he came down for, uh, what, get a, get a, uh, re- re- he, he was, uh, you know, he had just caught his time. Oh, wow. He was that behind, that far behind? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And so right now, I'm, 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 I'm the most notable in the L.A. County jail right now. Man, hey, so, you know, for the youngsters that ain't never been to the L.A. County, man, can you kind of give them just a, 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 a brief overview of what, man, you know, what you deal with in regards? If you are 35 and under, you will be in here fighting like you 
was training like Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> if you gangbang, you got fame coming. If you're not affiliate, you better be tough and stand up because they do weird stuff and try to take stuff from them and do stuff like that and just, this ain't, man, this jail is for losers. And if you can do something with your life in a positive aspect, I highly suggest you do it because this ain't nothing but an angry, bitter place. It's a piranha tank, a gang of crash dummies, followers, and this not it. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Yeah, man, real talk, real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? And man, you know what I mean. What's um, how's it looking, man? Have you, man, have they, have they, have you finally got your discovery? And I know we're not going to discuss that, but have you? Is it starting to go in motion? Is the is the lawyers? Yeah, my lawyers? discovery. My lawyer just got my discovery uh, uh, this week. Uh -huh. So we go back in a few weeks for a, 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 a status update, and then we're gonna set a a, a prelim date. That's when the fireworks start. Before I go any further, I want to give a shout out to my lead lawyer, Mr. Dion Benjamin, out of the Blackdale firm. But not guilty boys. A real stand up guy, man. He really he really, really is a genuine young brother. Out of, based out of LA, from LA, so he understands LA. And you know, when I when this incident first happened, I had just ran across him on the humbug on the internet. Because a few people I knew had posted him. Me not, this call is being recorded. Me not knowing shortly that I'll be retaining him to be my lawyer. Hmm. It is crazy, and you know. And when he came to see me, he knew exactly who I was, and I felt the vibe. And I just we've been rocking out, and you know I was my I was in my feelings about my bill being taken, and you know he tried his best, and he said, "Man, that could have happened to anybody." words he told me was don't get caught up on bail hearings and motions and all that the main thing we were trying to do is win this case beat this thing and i was just like oh man i gotta get out i gotta get out you know this that and the other and then they gave me a court date seven weeks apart hmm. that was a dagger so before i went to court wednesday i hadn't been to court since september 4th Hmm. You know, but it is what it is, man. I, I prevail. Man, so if, if if you, man, you know, if we may, can we touch a little bit on some of the things, man, that the police and the district attorney do, you know what I'm saying? Some of the tactics, such as, uh, man, you moving that cord. I know when you moving that cord, that cord, you that static thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do stuff like, uh, there's this thing called a Perkins operation, where they prep a, a, um, a informant or somebody that's working with them. You get to the station and they sit and waiting on you. They know everything about you. And if you start talking, it's gonna come back to hunt you. commended you on being a community leader. He commended you that you had over 50 letters of recommendation from, you know, and, and I know I wrote you one as well, so I know when he looked at that, he was like, oh yeah, man, wow. Nah, I'm just, <laughs> but he commended you on one hand and then turned around and still act like if you just was somebody that needed to be, man, you was a, a very much a threat in the community? Bill. Then they said my bill at 4.1. And me listening to 
close friends and family. They're like, oh, that bill is too high. You can get a bill reduction. I went to a bill reduction and got zapped with no bill. So they got me here like Young Thug and Diddy and all them, man. Yeah, man. Oh, mamas on mamas and stuff like that. And so, you know, in the... And in the, in, 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 in four millions, it's kind of high. Extremely high. And like I said, we don't got to go into the nature of the crime, and but that's fucking extremely high. Yeah. But well, there's dudes in here, that, that dude, they in my, on my, in my module, six attempts, they are a million, two million. Just, I'm like, it's just, it, it's the luck of the draw, man. It's just, you know, and obviously, I'm a public figure, so they want to make an example out of me. This call is being recorded. Man. Well, shit, man. You can go ahead and yell your cash app out one time, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, my cash app is uh, money sign C about the LLC. And, uh, you know, you, or you can just do it the old school way and send me a postal money order. Down in the LA County Jail with my name and booking number on it. Mama's a man. We'll put that, man. We'll put that in the, in the head and stuff. Man, you know, and uh, when you, man, you know, your first day out, what's the first thing you're going to do? Go be with my kids, my family, go home and lay in my bed, and get in the shower and cry. <laughs> <laughs> Man, say one of them good cries, man, with God done saved your funky ass again, huh? Man, it just wait a few days, decompress, and uh, go on live on Instagram and do a Q&A and just keep all positive vibes every, every Zoom program. I'm not going to get on social media talking on shit like, ah, y'all thought this, that. I'm a resume program like that never happened. I'm going to take three, four days off, and I'm getting straight back to work. Pre-production and start casting for these movies I wrote. And then get with my agent and management and all this. You know, I can't make up for the stuff I miss, but I can move forward on stuff that's for me. So anything that I miss in these last four months, it wasn't for me. Man, real talk, real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, hey, look. I ain't gonna man use all your minutes and everything like that, man. You know, this is just part one. Um, you know, this is just part one of the episode, man. You know, we're gonna call this, man, you know, Free Sugar Gotti, aka Omar Ray, aka Pippin and Silky. And uh, you know what I'm saying? So this is gonna be the first interview, man, and you know, we'll do another one. I'm gonna drop this immediately. Yeah, this is the first exclusive, this one on one. You got you got it before the Shea Room, TMZ, and all them other blogs. Man, I already. The Soto Spot. Man. See about it, man. Real talk, real talk, man. While and ladies, the headline is tell em. live interview with Omar Ray, a.k.a. Pippa Suki, a.k.a. Sugar Gotti, live from the L.A. County Jail. Man, on mamas, on mamas, bro. Well, look, man, I ain't gonna hold you or nothing like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? This gonna be the first one and shit. You know, man, we give it a little bit, man. You know, after you go through court, man, you know, we'll we'll do some more. We'll do another uh, interview and stuff like that. And again, please, man, go support. Go make those letters out to, man, you know what I'm saying? To Gaston. Man, please, we're gonna put up, man, we're gonna put it up and everything like that. The www.com to find them. You know, LASD, you can find my brother, man, Omar Ray up there, man. You know, put some money on his books. You know what I mean? Write him a letter, man. You know, he'll write back. I promise you. Send me some pictures, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Prayers go up and blessings come down, man. Hey, man, before we get off and we end this, man, I'm always say this, man. My son told me this. He said, God gives his hardest times to his strongest individuals. And, man, and yeah. yet this too will pass, brother. And you'll be back home coaching with a better new team. You know, putting out more movies, man. And hopefully, man, put me in a movie. <laughs> nah, it's all love, yeah, brother. I already I know. Think, I think he's going to play this cold John. <laughs> I Ooh. knew it was coming. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> I knew it was coming, man. If I'm playing the John, yeah, you're going to be the brother that got left in the bathtub talking about <laughs> looking yeah, for his might, stuff. We might, we might come with a whole revamp. The nemesis of Pepper Silky, his long lost brother, Tricky Silky. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what well, shit, brother? I lay you to death, man. I'm gonna go ahead and end this interview real quick and shit like that, man. Hey, hold your head up, man, and we'll do it again. Hey, man, give me a call, fam, on Mamas, man, and we chop it up. All right. All right, always. Peace and blessings, King. Yeah, man, I, you know, again, man, that's an exclusive from Omar Ray, AKA Pimp and Silky. You know what I mean? Hey, man, make sure, man, you know, you go support, man. Hey, we at the Spot Soto on all streaming platforms, man, Spotify, YouTube, and everything. We give you that real exclusive stuff, man. You know, when you real, you touch your peoples, man, and you go where you got to go and get in the trenches to make sure that they get heard and not forgotten, bro. So we at the Spot. At the Spot. The Spot Soto on the Spot at the Spot. Off top. <laughs> <laughs>